What's up everyone? Today I want to share with you some quick tips to make things levitate. But before we jump into this, let me share a little bit of the story behind this video. So a few months ago we moved from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada to Montreal. And because it was so far away, we didn't have the chance to actually visit the place before coming in. So the day we moved in, like the, the very first day, uh, we actually had like a very you know, great surprise. And that surprise was this. So I'm not talking about the drawing, I'm talking about the wall. It's a, a chalkboard wall. My wife loves it, my kids love it, my friends love it. I love it. And ever since we moved in, we used the hell out of this wall. It was definitely love at first sight. Well, almost. Because the tenants before us were very creative people and they decided to leave their creation on that wall for us to see when we moved in. But anyway, that's not the point of the video. What I was getting with this is that when I saw these uh, bricks and this wall with the writings, it made me think of Beetlejuice, the movie. You know when they draw a door on the, the wall and then they knock and then uh, you know it, it opens and it becomes a gate to uh, the purgatory, I guess? So anyway, it gave me this uh, inspiration to do something with this wall. So one night I asked my wife to, you know, hey, let's do something, let's try something with this wall. I'm sure we can find something cool. And next thing you know, she's already there writing some weird stuff, drawing some evil things on the wall and, you know, start levitating. Well, that was a very long story just to get to this point. So now I think it's time to actually explain how we did this uh, levitating trick. All right, so first thing you need to do is to take a clean plate of your shot. A clean plate is basically an empty shot, just the background, nothing else, no objects, no actors, so that we can focus on that and use it for compositing the final shot. Next, we're gonna need two chairs that the actor is going to use to push himself up and simulate the levitation. Now, the only thing you need to keep in mind when doing this is to try to stay as straight up as possible when you elevate yourself. Which is actually quite a challenge because when you do this, naturally your body will try to uh, tilt down or tilt up. So make sure to do that a couple of times to get the perfect take. But also not too many times because believe me, your hands are going to hurt pretty quickly. And that's it really, we just shot everything we need, now it's time to edit. So the first thing you want to do is bring on your clean plate into the timeline. And then select your best take, import that in the timeline as well. Then you can quickly mask and rotoscope the legs and mask things around just to make sure everything looks good and clean. The idea of course is that we want to mask out those chairs, like so. You can also fake a little bit of autofocus by adding some blur and keyframing the intensity of the blur. And you can also add a bit of camera shaking just to give more realism to the whole thing. And that's it, really it's just the simplest trick ever, but it works, uh, it's fun, it's easy to do, so just a cool little trick to keep in mind when you want to make uh, stuff levitate, I guess. Alright, that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned some stuff. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, keep it scary.